Hey, Dr. Kelly Starrett here with Mark Pro. I want to talk about some ways to improve your running. Now, let me be very clear. I am a runner. In fact, we feel very strongly that running is the movement that makes us human beings. And so to not run or not to even have access to run should only be a choice. But you absolutely should be able to run, even if it's for short distances. So here's what we want to talk about. Some of the easy ways to improve your running, recover your running, and make your tissues a little bit more robust so you can do the thing that makes us human in the first place. One of the things that we've been talking about for a long time as a way of prepping the body and loading some of these positions and patterns is actually with the lowly jump rope. So one of the things that we like to do is get people to warm up a little bit more effectively with the jump rope. And this is an easy thing to do because it's low equipment. You can do it anywhere just before you go and run. And we use it as a way of restoring positions and mechanics, of returning springiness back to the body, and challenging some, sometimes some positions that sometimes get a little bit weak or a little bit soft. So our basic template is that we like to get a couple hundred jumps. And what I'm looking for is toes together, butt squeezed, and I'm trying to lengthen. So don't worry, we're not trying to make the jump rope go around, we're not trying to do uh, tricks with this thing, but mainly I wanna make sure that I'm getting a full push through plantar flexion through the foot. So as I jump rope, I'm not trying to be stiff and fast, I'm trying to lengthen and push so that I can teach my body to absorb and have access to the whole foot. So we do about 200 jumps like that. Then we like to do a little bit of single footwork. And what we try to do is get 100 jumps on one foot and then 100 jumps on the other foot. And what this does is it gives me a chance to strengthen the small intrinsics of the feet and work on that single leg control, prepping the tissues for the running loads. It can be, what, two to four times body weight depending on how I'm running and where I'm running. So, one of the things that gets lost though in this jump rope mechanic language is the fact that we actually are spending time in this shape when we run. And believe it or not, this is a wonderful way to work on this shape. Take myself into a split stance and see if I can just jump up and down in that position. What we shoot for is about 50 each side. So a total of 400 skips out of breath already. I'm actually a runner. So check this out. The next thing we can divide into a couple categories. The first category is end range isometrics. What are some of the positions that are valuable for the human being in terms of running shapes? And then we can divide the next category into, hey, are there some tissue restoration skills and drills that will help me keep my tissue soft and supple? So the first one is about end range isometrics, and I've got three ideas for you. This can be done on a curb or in any position where you can elevate. A lot of times people like to dangle their foot off the curb to stretch the calf. We're not interested in just passively hanging. We're interested in loading up the fascia connective tissue into specific positions. And what we're gonna load on is this hip in extension. So I'm gonna put the foot up, as, get a bite up on a curb or a, or a low, low wall, and I'm gonna step across. So the goal here is to actually make this hip move towards a running shape where the leg is trailing. Then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes as hard as I can and then take a big breath in. I'm gonna push into the ground for four seconds, squeezing the butt, and then slowly relax and exhale. Take a couple breaths. And so our pattern here is a four second inhale, a four second contracted end range, an end range isometric, and then an eight second exhale. And I can do this at any time. So I like to work this in. My favorite is when I'm pumping gas. I'm obsessively mobilizing when I'm waiting for the bus, school bus, to come with my young kids. Again, I load up the foot. Notice that I'm stepping across so that I can actually put the foot into position, load the tissues, glute squeeze, four second inhale, four second contract and relax, hold, 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 and slowly relax for eight seconds. Four, four, eight is our pattern. So a couple of cycles of that, don't be precious, two or three rotations of that and you've hit it. Another idea that we're big fans of and have always talked about is something we call the couch stretch, which can be done on your couch, but any place where you have a floor meeting a wall. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load my back knee up into the corner up against the wall of the couch. So you can imagine if this is the back floor seat of the couch, back of the couch, and then I bring this other leg up into a high kneel position. For a lot of us, this is gonna be a challenge, and the goal here is to be able to squeeze my glutes and repeat that four, four, eight, concept. So four second inhale, 
Four second contract, driving the knee into the ground actively. Eight second exhale. But keep the glutes engaged. We're trying to change, turn this into a neuromuscular end range shape, telling my brain I better have this extensibility in the hip and the leg. And if we're honest, this is just a big exaggerated run position where the leg is highly flexed as I return from that running position. This is just finishing that shape. Third end range isometric, easily done when you're returning from the run, put your foot up on the couch, on a chair, leg jumps out, jump out as far as you can, and lower yourself down, keeping the glutes engaged. So now it's similar, and you'll see that the bias today is we're spending a lot of time working on the hip in end range, or trailing leg, or at the end of extension, when the leg is starting to come off and come back around, which is where we see most of our running related issues. In this position, I'm in a longer lever position, and again, I'm going to drop right back into our 448 concept for a couple reps. Four seconds inhale, four seconds squeeze, load it, load it, load it, load it. Eight seconds, slowly relax, recover for a couple breaths. Now, this whole time you're being active, but what we're going to do is try to be especially active during that four second hold. So, look, we've got three different positions that are challenging and improving your trailing leg shape. One, winding the foot up to make sure that the calf has enough range of motion to prep here. Two, the couch stretch where I'm taking that leg to end range flexion and then trying to work on it. And three, a little bit longer lever, which looks like right before I, I recover in that trailing leg.